Alrighty guys, so still talking about parts of similar triangles, but now we're going to do page 69, the page that was across from this craziness over here. Okay, so some other things that we can do when we're looking at triangles and thinking about how they're similar to each other in proportionality is in a triangle, when I have altitudes, bisectors, or medians, we can also get some proportionality. I want my other highlighter, but I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Okay. So with an altitude in a triangle, we go from an angle down perpendicularly. We can write proportions in just the single triangle. And so the proportion that we can write here that's really good is we can, or actually the ratio, but then I can set it equal to another ratio so proportion, is like the altitude over a side. Okay, so altitude. And like, I guess I should say the side that's not being split. So I could do like altitude to side, altitude to side. Okay. Um, we could write a ratio with some bisectors, um, kind of more so with angle bisectors. So if I have an angle bisector coming out of that angle, uh, a really nice ratio that we can write there is we can do the bisected, well, it's not really bisected, but like the side that was split, so let's say it that way, split side over the side adjacent. So it's kind of like this side that was split over the side that's adjacent, this side that was split over the side that's adjacent. Okay. And then lastly, with our median lines, and these are all of our fun lines from last chapter, is like if I draw the median, I'm connecting the midpoint to the angle opposite. So these are the same. And if that's the case, a really nice ratio that we can write there, um, you know, we could do, well, we won't get into that one just yet, um, but we could do the median over the non-split side again. So side, not split. So like median over side, median over side, and get all those fun little ratios going on, okay? So I wanna practice some of these crazy ratios, but it's not the next one down. So the next one has to do with perimeters, which we'll come back to, but let's jump down to solve for x, okay? So looking at this first one here in the picture, I notice that these two triangles are similar to each other by angle angle. So we got one rainbow, two rainbows. And they've also, in that uh, triangle there, drawn an altitude. And I can tell because of the perpendicular angle. So we have altitudes going on. And a really nice ratio to write with altitudes is I can do altitude over side. Oops altitude over side, and not the split one, okay? So for this one here, altitude over side looks like x over 20. And similarly, over here, altitude over side would be 4 over 5. And then I can just cross multiply and solve, but I can also kind of see like here I multiplied by 4, so I'd have to do that there as well. So it'd have to be 16. Okay. Um, another one that we could do down here, again, these two triangles are similar to each other by angle, angle. And I notice that we have drawn in there the median lines. I can tell because it's split in the middle. So these are those medians. And the median one is a lot like the altitude one where you're doing altitude over side or median over side. So we can do median over side is equal to median over side. Now this one isn't as obvious to me, like nine times what is 24, I do not know. So I'm gonna cross multiply here. 
and have 9 times 15, which is a big number, 135, equals 24 over, or 25, 4 times x, geez. And then divide both sides by 24. And I think, uh, yeah, 3 will go into both. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. Because if I add up the digits, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 goes into 9, so 3 will go into that. And 3 will go into 24 eight times. So 45. Can I reduce more than that? I don't think so. So there you go. Okay, down here. I notice an angle bisector. So the angle bisector one is the split side over the side adjacent. So that one's a little strange. Like again, I see angle bisector. So I can do split side over side adjacent, split side over side adjacent. So that's going to look like x over 6, split side over adjacent. And then here, it's actually, so I don't know it, but they tell me the whole thing is 20. But I can call it 20 minus x because, like, if this is 10, then that would be 10. Or if this is a, be a better example, I guess, is if this is, like, 8, then that would be 12 because they have to add up to 20. So I'm really just subtracting that off of 20. So 20 minus x over 8. And then I would cross multiply and solve. So 8x equals 120 minus 6x, add that over, and then divide the 14. So x will be, um, when we reduce, what's that? 2 definitely goes in, 60 over 7. Yeah. And then right here, I notice medians again. So... Um, oh, this one's a little different, though, because you can write median over side, median over side, but since they're both proportional to the median, you can write side over side, which is kind of crazy. So, like, x minus 2 over 4, and I went this way, so 2x minus plus 3 over 10, and then cross multiply and solve. So, you get 8x plus 12 equals 10x minus 20, so 2x equals 32, oh my gosh, ran out of room, so x is 16. Okay, then we can do perimeters. So, can I, I'm going to do the perimeters in a second video, guys, so, sorry. Sorry. 